Bonjour everybody, welcome back to my channel, welcome if you're new, my name is Louisa, you are watching Lulu, c'est la vie. And for today's video, I'm going to talk about the curly hair brands that I used to love so much, but that I stopped using. Uh, first, I'm going to tell you what I love about those brands, uh, what they did to my hair, and why did I stop using them. With no further ado, let's get this party started. Alright, so if you guys follow me, you know that one thing that I do a lot in this channel is curly hair product reviews. Uh, it's actually one of my favorite things to do on this channel. I love sharing with you what I think about a uh, certain curly hair product. I like to show you how it reacts on my fine wavy to curly hair. And I believe that it helps you guys make a decision on whether or not to buy this product. That being said, there are a lot of products that I've been reviewing in this channel since the beginning of my channel. Um, to be honest, I wanna say that 85% of the products that I review, uh, the curly hair products that I review, I actually like. Uh, there are some that are my favorite that I will rebuy and that I will reuse for a long period of time and then get tired of it and then try something different that I like. Uh, and there's some products that I like what I see and I like the result but I don't really care particularly for it and I am not necessarily gonna rebuy them but it was nice to try and it was nice to share with you guys the thing is there are two brands that I actually really liked um, but that I had to stop using and I'm gonna start with the first one the first brand that I absolutely adored the first time I used it was Buclem. I don't have their products anymore in my house, so I'm gonna put a picture right here for you guys to see uh, what it looks like. Buclem, I believe it's a, a British line of product, or is it French? I'm not sure. I wanna say French because boucle en uh, français in French means curl, uh, but I'm not 100% sure because I didn't do my research or it's been so long that I don't even remember. <laughs> Buclem is the first first impression video I did on my channel. I, uh, I And I think it was the last one because of what happened. Uh, a first impression video, for those of you who are not familiar, is, um, well, a first impression. I've never tried the product before. I just received it. I turn on my camera, put the product in my hair, do my, my whole routine in front of you for the first time, and then give you my first impression. So what happened with Buclem is that I ordered their trial pack. It's like traveling size bottles. There was about five different products in there from the cleanser to the styling product. And I tried them for the first time in front of you guys and give you my first impression, which was, quote, where have you been all my life, Buclem, end quote. <laughs> I was so amazed by the first result that I got in my hair that I was like, oh my gosh, is this even real, you know? My hair looked really good. Uh, edit the, the video, post the video, everything's beautiful. Tr I think I did everything the same day, actually. Film, edit, post, I was so excited. Um, next day, I tried to make the product work again in my hair, a disaster. The day after that... A disaster the day after that I washed my hair I tried to restyle a disaster at this point I am DMing the brand on Instagram and they are talking to me and they're like try to use the product like this try to use the product like that try to mix it with this try to refresh like that they were giving me all the advice that they could possibly think of to help me with this product but there was no way my hair did not want to hear it my hair was like nope I am rejecting this product it's like this is just no <laughs> my hair was greasy the curl pattern was like not even curly it was bad hair day after bad hair day I remember spending several days having to wash my hair twice every day just to have somewhat of a good like, I, I really wanted for this product to work. <laughs> After 10 to 12 days of this nightmare, I was just tired. I was exhausted, and I just wanted one good hair day. I remember saying to myself, I just want one good hair day. That's all. This is not working. I was so annoyed. So I decided to stop using Buclem. 
uh, which made me really sad because the result I had on that first day was so amazing. I really wanted to accomplish that again on a, on a regular basis. So at that time I went to my followers, uh, some of you guys are probably uh, still there, and I asked um, what do I do? Do I delete this video or do I just keep it on? And my followers told me, hey, um, this was an honest review and the result was the results so you should um, you should leave it out there and you know uh, don't worry about it so I did and uh, every time I had an opportunity throughout the year uh, to talk about what happened with book Lam, uh, I would and I would say hey it worked that first time but then it never worked again and the lesson that I learned from this situation is that um, a first impression is not a way to go when you're reviewing product it's always better to try the product for a few wash days before you go out there and talk about it in public so that you really know what you're talking about or at least uh, you have a solid experience of what you're talking about. Hey guys, I uh, just wanted to jump in real quick because uh, as I'm editing this video I realized that I forgot to mention a very important lesson that I also learned uh, with this whole book claim situation and that is uh, that it's going to be really hard for you to judge a product based on solely the first impression. Uh, you're going to have to use this product several times in a row uh, using different styling techniques on different wash days with a different type of weather to really see how your hair is going to work with the product. Uh, to really see if the product is going to bring what your hair needs. Um, so yeah, this is something I just wanted to add in real quick. Let's get back to the video. So that was my lesson learned with Buclem. I love the brand. They were super reactive. They were there to help me try to make the product work. The line of product is so clean. The ingredient list is amazing. But my hair was not, my hair didn't want to hear about it. Um, so yeah, that's my experience with Buclem. Okay, the second brand that I want to talk about, and that's another one that breaks my heart even more than Buclem because I've been using these products for a long time, and if I could use them today, you guys, I would still put them in my hair today. But the product, the line of product that I want to talk about is Curlsmith. And Curlsmith, I still have a lot of their bottles because, like I said, I love them so much. Here I have two conditioners, um, and I have their styling. Uh, cream and styling this one is the hold me softly styling balm and this one is the moisture memory reactivator oh I used to love this product so much um, I also tried their in shower style fixer sorry which is their gel in shower gel and this did not work for me at all okay so curl smith curl smith I discovered this brand beginning now, end of winter, beginning of spring 2019. This is around the time I started to really pay attention to the ingredient list of the products that I was putting in my hair. I decided to step out of the drugstore line of product and I wanted to try a higher end, which means that I was gonna have to spend a little bit more product, a lot more product, for the products, uh, for the hair product that I would put in my hair. But I was also expecting uh, the ingredients to be of a higher quality, and I really was looking, and I still am to this day, for a more natural line of product. Curl Smith checked all my box. They have, from the packaging, they have that very, uh, uh, what you call it, uh, apothecary-ish kind of look to the bottle. The ingredient list is very clean. You recognize all of the, the products in there. It's, it's plant derived or it is actual plants. Um, it's a clean line of product. Well, the price is a little spicy, but you get the quality. You know, I, I loved this brand. I, I, I really like, it really resonates with who I am. When I first used the product in my hair, I noticed that although I had a good result after, uh, right after I was done diffusing, as the day was going by, I was, my hair was getting drier and drier and drier. At first, it wasn't too 
it wasn't bad enough for me to be alert about it and that went on for months okay um, sometimes or most of the times I would have to refresh my hair midday which means pu putting in a, a little bit of a, a moisture leave-in conditioner something to give my hair a little bit more moisture because it was losing it and as it was losing the moisture I was having more freeze my hair was looking drier and I was losing my curl definition um, it didn't really bother me back then but now that I look back I realized that that's not normal that's not something that I've ever needed to do with any other brands then July comes in. In July, I go to France. It's super hot, and my hairstylist uh, does my highlights, and he messes up big time. I have a video about that that I will link right there. So he messes up. What does that mean? He uh, used a new product in my hair to do the balayage, the highlights. Um, it was really hot that day, and he left the product just a little too long which means that my hair ended up with super blonde highlights, which I hated. So we had to go over it uh, with a temporary brown color. Uh, it was in, in, in the course of one week, I had to do probably two to three hair treatments to kind of like fix the problem. The color that they put in my hair was a temporary color. By September, most of it was removed and with that came extremely high porosity uh, a porosity that I've never experienced before in my life um, although I did have bleach damage years back but this was different uh, mind you I was still using throughout the summer the Curlsmiths product now fall was there and the weather was getting colder and colder and my hair porosity from September, October, November just went off the roof. I did not know what to do to uh, be able to keep the moisture in my hair anymore. I, it was just going, it was dragging me crazy. So uh, in November, I decided to cut my hair off and do a big chop. Now, looking back at what I've been doing to my hair throughout the year of 2019 I tried to retrace where did things started to go wrong I realized that I started to notice a change in my hair porosity right when I started to use the Curlsmith product um, and then there was the highlight uh, situation and then a few months later here I was so I'm not saying that Curlsmith damaged my hair and it was the reason why I had a completely different uh, hair porosity I think that Curlsmith is one of the reason why my hair porosity changed over time uh, the heat the highlight situation the coloring all these things put together lead me to where I end up in September and then to my big chop later in November the reason why I'm, try I'm, I'm sharing that with you, there's two reasons. The first one, throughout the year of 2019, I've been using Curlsmiths religiously because it was my favorite line of product. And I have reviews on Curlsmiths and today I'm not using them anymore and I feel like I owe you guys an explanation as to why. The second reason is um, Sometimes we use products that we love so much. Just like me, I am so attached to this brand because of what it represents, really resonates with who I am. Um, I was not able to see that this line of product was actually uh, not uh, the right product for my type of hair. Doesn't mean that it's not gonna work for you, but for me personally, this is what it does. This is how my body reacts to it. I want you to question yourself, um, if you see your hair reacting a certain way with certain product, do you really think it's your hair that has a prob problem or is it the product? So I hope you can learn a little bit from my mistakes and uh, instead of thinking that you're the problem, maybe the products that you're using are not adapted to what you need. Okay, all right, I think I said everything I wanted to say. The last thing I think I'm gonna add is um, keep in mind that in my channel, I am trying a lot of different products. Some of them I love and some of them I like. Um, 
I will always change product. I'm not the type of person who's able to keep that one product forever. I like to change. The only constant in this channel is that I'm gonna change product often. <laughs> um, so yeah, keep in mind that it's not because I'm loving something for the past six months that this is not gonna change in the future. The whole concept here was to uh, show you guys how different products react to my hair type. And if you think my hair type is similar to yours, uh, well, you can have an idea of how it could possibly react on your hair. But we're not twi twins, we don't share the same DNA, so you will not have the exact same reaction as I do. The only way for you to find out if it's going to work for you is if you try the product. Alright, my loves, this is it for this video. I think I covered everything. Um, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share if you think it can help somebody in their journey. If you are enjoying my channel, feel free to uh, subscribe and uh, give me a big thumbs up if you uh, if you enjoy the content because it helps me. Uh, bon ben voilà. I will see you guys next week with a new video. Uh, don't forget to stay healthy, be happy, have a beautiful life. Au revoir et à bientôt. <laughs> Hey, c'est la vie.